this generation, if, if they are the generation that I believe them to be, you know, Gen Z and the younger millennials, they are incredibly brave. And if they want a better nation, if they want all of the opportunities to have the education they deserve, the healthcare they deserve, the acceptance and the freedom of expressing their identity in, in their daily lives that they deserve, the most important thing that they can do to ensure that they get the life that generations before them were promised and never got is to go to the polls and to vote. And there is only one right option in November and it's voting for Joe Biden. I know that you've endorsed him, I'm endorsing him. I am so happy we got to have this conversation and I implore you please to say something incredible to close this because I know that you will. Well, <laughs> I don't know how incredible it is, but once again, uh, you made a very important point. Let me speak personally as a United States Senator. If, God forbid, Trump were to be reelected, I would have to spend the next four years doing everything I can to fight his regressive and racist initiatives. Just to fight back, fight back, fight back. I would a million times prefer not to have to do that, but to think about how do we guarantee health care to all people, all right? How quickly can we do that? How do we make sure that every little baby child in this country has quality childcare? How do we make sure that all of our kids are able to get the best education that we can? How do we lead the world in combating climate change through a Green New Deal? That's what I wanna do. Yeah. I don't wanna spend my life as a United States Senator day after day trying to undo the damage of a president. Yeah. That's what this campaign is about. Yes. So again, I do know that there are a lot of young people who will disagree with Joe Biden on this or that issue. I got it. I disagree with him on this or that issue. But A, it is imperative that we defeat the most dangerous president in the history of this country, and that's Donald Trump. And B, that once Biden is elected, we rally young people and working people, people of color, to stand together to fight for a progressive agenda that works for all of us, not just a few. And that's the opportunity we will have if Biden is elected and if we get a Democratic Senate. Yeah, you know, it was beautifully said. And you know what, Senator Sanders, Bernie, honestly, like the idea of you having to spend the next four years, as you said, God forbid Trump gets reelected, having to continue to fight back against things that you have fought for your entire life, um, it, to me, it's just simply unacceptable because you have done the work and you have dedicated your life to this and you have consistently been on the right side of history. And I just, I really, really hope that the young people who are watching this, I mean, we need a historic turnout of young voters this year. I hope they're watching this and I hope they are grateful to you. I hope that they are grateful for the work that you've put in and I hope that they know that you deserve better and that you shouldn't have to spend the next four years fighting for them and fighting for the American people when they have the opportunity in their hands to lighten that load for you. And I hope that they look at your face and they know that in their heart because I know it right now. And I hope that they take that away from this. I cannot thank you enough for talking to me. I hope we get to talk again soon. I hope soon we get to meet in person. Um, this has been one of the greatest conversations of my life. I wish it was happening under better circumstances in terms of why we're having the conversation, but I feel maybe naively optimistic that one day we will. So I really can't thank you enough. Well, thank you for the great work you're doing. Of course. Okay. See you soon. Thank bye you, Sarah Sanders.